Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's create new composition and add here money and click OK. I will use this size for texture. Click OK and select this USD image layer. Let's move to inside money texture composition. Okay, then let's press R, change rotation 90. Okay, press S, change scale. And let's move to left. Okay, then let's control D and move to right for duplicate. Then select these two layers. Control D, move to up and move to right. Okay, and select the last layer, Control D again and move to right. Okay, so in this time, let's go to click this icon for select region of interest. And let's select region like this. Let's full screen and select region like this okay and go to compensation click crop comp to region of interest okay our texture is ready so let's change name texture and create new compensation add name element 3d money and change size full HD and frame rate 25 second 10 click ok and create new solid layer add name element 3d click ok go to fx video corporate and element and back to project let's select this texture move to inside here and hide composition then back to again element 3d solid layer go to fx control open here and texture maps Let's change layer 1, select here texture and go to scene setup. So right now let's go to create and let's create new cylinder and select rotate tool. Let's hold shift change rotation like this and let's go to here settings change height like this. Okay, not bad. And open inside here, select this texture default and go to diffuse, let's clean non set and click this icon, select texture layer. Okay, click OK and select this cylinder model, click this icon for UV texture. Okay, so let's change texture mapping here, plane, Y and Z and change UV repeat 1 that 44 and this 5 that 07 and UV offset let's change here minus 0 that 02 okay and don't change these settings okay looks good so in this time let's go to create and let's create new plane and click move to let's move to here okay let's change size like this and let's change size more okay and let's use this texture for plane click move tool and right now let's go to UV texturing and let's change here like this I want more money Okay, let's change like this. Let's zoom to here. Okay, that's good. So let's select rotation tool and hold shift change rotation like this. And let's click this second for change plane size. Let's change like this. Okay. And back to again texture. Let's change texture 
and this texture let's zoom to here I want to fix size change let it beat and what's right Okay, this is not bad. And let's change a little bit this scale. Change a little bit again. Okay, that's good. So select move to and let's move to down here. Let's zoom to here. Okay, nice. And let's go to click this icon, enable show ambient occlusion for C shadows. Okay, not bad. And right now let's select this plane and let's change aux channel to select this slender, go to up and change aux channel one and click OK. So let's create new camera. Don't change any settings. Click OK. And for use camera movements, go to here. We can use these icons and I will use C in shortcut. So let's change view like this. Move to a little bit and select my. Right. OK, that's good. So let's make animation. Select this element 3D layer and go to open here first group and open out channel open channel 2 and let's put inside all plane and make new passing keyframe go to 10 seconds and change plane move to right like this let's animation change quality quarter okay nice so let's open channel 1 and open rotation I will rotate like this and let's make rotation keyframe go to last second and change rotation to let's see okay nice not bad so let's change this rotation to that 5 nice so right now let's close these aux channels, go to render settings and let's open ambient occlusion, click checkbox, change intensity 10 and change gamma like this. Okay and contrast like this. Okay and let's go to scene setup and click this checkbox for see background image and go to preset environment and backlight textures let's use this let's see or let's try this or this okay let's use this and click ok nice and open camera let's open inside camera options and let's enable depot field click for on and change aperture 140 and change fox distance like this okay change blur level 125 and let's see full Okay, nice. So let's select this element 3D and let's try change some light settings. Open lighting and let's try use cinematic lighting. No, it's not good. And let's use product or let's try use dark or sign light. 
Okay, not bad. So let's open physical environment and change quality quarter. We can use gamma here for realistic lighting. Okay, and open rotate. Change like this. Okay, so not bad. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.